This is lesson two, advanced IBC, and I'm. I should mention at this point, I'm. These instructional vi videos are for students. They're also for my colleagues. Uh, in order that they may learn these skills, in order to help students with, um, you know, their required comp competencies, and I hope as a result of sort of. Of, of following this rigor, rigorous approach to uh, modeling a simple structure, which has a lot of typical elements that, that can be extended to other contexts, you will um, be able to teach this to others. So, this is the CAD drawing, which has Plan, plan information and elevation information. There were some notes on here that I made uh, in CAD, but those will disappear when we when we import this into SketchUp, and I'll show you what happens. So you want to start um, SketchUp. When you start for the first time, we'll have Enscape when we get to full. Um, when you start for the first time, it usually asks you for a template, and uh, I'll just explain some of the things that you want to set up straight away in your SketchUp environment. Th this is. V-Ray and Podium, you will not have Podium this fall. We'll have uh, both V-Ray and Enscape, which allows you to examine uh, the environments that you model in real time. You have to go to Toolbars and make sure that Um, the large tool set is checked, which is this that thing on the right on the left that disappeared. Uh, you need views. These are not on by by default. Um, I would include um, styles. And those are those are again two bars that are arranged vertically and horizontally arranged SketchUp environment. <laughs> For the sake of uh, simplicity, we're gonna remove this citizen from the environment. And what we're looking at is an x-axis, which is the red line. The y-axis is this green line. And the vertical axis, or the z-axis, is the blue line there. And the point at which they all meet is the origin. These are views. If I click on uh, top, places me a bird's eye view and I'm looking straight down at my environment. There's nothing in it right now, but that's that's what I'm doing. And I'm going to switch a, a, a camera mode or from perspective to parallel, which um, allows me to bypass perspective distortion while we're constructing this model. When you're measuring things, when you're modeling things, it's good to work in some kind of paraline mode. What does that mean? It means the axes 
are given equal weight. There's no distortion or foreshortening in, introduced. Anyway, first thing you want to do is import the file uh, that we're going to use as a template for modeling. So I'm going to, uh, from the file menu, click on import. And it defaults to documents, and I have to go into this folder. This is that's where my CAD drawings are. Switch the file type to um, AutoCAD file, and I want to choose this final drawing here. I'll, I'll look at options, but they're not important. I'm just choosing the default mode of import. And it gives you this result report and there's our model. Now it's important that we all perform these steps the same way. If I didn't remove the person from the origin there, the, the, the import would have displaced this geometry by, you know, whatever distance that person occupied. So for now, this gets imported. Let's look at Entity Info. That, that, that. that um, window's being drawn off screen. That tray is being drawn off screen. Let me see if I can hide and show it. Now, I'm going to have to create a new tray. Window. New tray. Okay. Might as well do this. My tray. Sandra's And let's check off some of the things that we want available. These are the equivalent of toolbars uh, served to you on a tray here, if you will. Let's check off a few of these. The most important things are layers at this outline. We'll talk about it a little bit later. For now, let's keep this very, very simple. Entity Info, Layers, and Outline. Oh. Can't put strange characters in there. Okay. So now we have layers. Where do these layers come from? It came from the AutoCAD file. Unless you intend to use them for something, you ought to collapse them. So you can select them in this fashion. And I recommend that you deal with layers in this way. Always draw on layer zero, and then group geometry or otherwise organize that ge geometry into a component and push it to its destination layer. I'm going to repeat that over and over and over again because you need to work that way. It's critical that you do that. It's the, the, your file will become meaningless, meaningless gibberish if you don't. So I've selected all these layers. You click this little delete layer button. It says, okay, there's contents on this layer. What do you want to do with it? Let's move it to the default. Move content to default layer. We're not using those layers. We don't need it. That's the first thing that we've done. So now we have a group, or a component in this case. If there's geometry in the model already and you import an AutoCAD drawing, it will group it or make it a component. So that, that's, that's in your interest. Let's create a layer before we do anything else for this AutoCAD underlay. Then we select the AutoCAD underlay and move it to, we select the 
we imported result here and we've moved it to this AutoCAD underlay so that we can turn it off, turn off the visibility, make it invisible if we want to. Right? What you'll notice about this file, what's, what's missing are all the annotations and notes and measurements that existed in the CAD file. Now we can take a tape measure. This is a somewhat tricky model because it wasn't very carefully thought out. So I'm going to make some assumptions about it that are important. Um, there's an interior floor. We're looking through a, a, a section of this model, which is represented by the line from here to there, looking in the direction of the arrow, or looking along, in this case, what we call the y-axis. So if we cut the model in in that fashion this is what we see in section so that means that there's a floor inside six inches there's a floor inside of 12 inches there are windows that have a sill that's really short about eight inches and a height six feet SketchUp um, snaps to any geometry that you see in the model okay step one save your work right file save as I'm gonna save it in document I'm gonna save it in that folder and there's a little bit more work to do that so a I B C lesson 102 because 101 was just talking about the environment. So we have our model saved. I'm going to end this lesson without modeling anything because it's that important to set up your environment correctly, to collapse the AutoCAD layers so that you can create layers for your model. Um, I'll say one thing really briefly about the, this outliner will make more sense as we add geometry, but what we're, what it's, what it reports on is whatever exists or geometry that is in that exists in your model so all these sort of results here are elements that were imported that were created in, in AutoCAD um, anyway the drawing itself is that component that, that component is composed of all this stuff that somehow was um, originally recorded in that drawing. Um, so we'll pause here and save this. Well, we did save. Let's 